Hello, my name is Allison Carmen, and welcome to my podcast, 10 Minutes to Less Suffering. And the name of today's podcast is You Gotta Be Happy on the Way to Happy. And the title of the podcast came from a clip of Jennifer Lewis on an interview or a podcast. And for those of you who don't know who Jennifer Lewis is, she's an actress and an activist and a mental health advocate. And I paraphrased a little bit what she said, but here is her basic message. Don't let life mess you up. It's yours. It's yours to drive. Get up in the morning and write down what you're going to do in a day. Be happy on the way to your job, even if you don't like it. You got to be happy on the way to happy. Don't think you're going to get there and be happy. You carry yourself with you. You can't run. I've tried to run. And I got money to run, but you meet yourself when you get there. And why I love what she said so much is that every day, a lot of us truly believe that the reason why we're sad or we're unhappy or we have anxiety is because the outside world is not showing up the way we want it to. We don't like what's going on in the world. We don't like what's going on with our job. We don't like what's going on in our relationships. And it's okay. You're allowed to have preferences. You're allowed to have things you don't like. But the truth is, many of us are waiting for the day when it changes to declare our happiness, to declare our satisfaction, to declare we're okay with everything. And I get this so deeply on so many days over the last four and a half years since my husband left me. I want to blame him for my unhappiness. It just comes up so naturally. If I don't feel good or there's something I don't like or I'm finding it difficult to get back out there and dating, whatever it is, I feel this pull sometimes to want to say, I am unhappy because he left me. I am unhappy because of what he did to me. I am unhappy because of the trauma I feel every day. I'm unhappy because I'm alone. I'm unhappy because I'm responsible for myself. And I see it and I catch myself. Because I realize that if I do this, that means that the outside world, people in it, the things that happen will determine my peace, will determine my satisfaction, will determine whether I'm happy or not every day. And I pull back and I say, I am responsible for how I feel. And it's not that I don't allow my feelings, but I gain control and I choose to redirect And I choose to look at the things in my life that are beautiful and that are glorious. And I rededicate to myself because I know wherever I get, I will be there. That's the piece so many of us don't realize that whoever we are, whatever trauma we've had, whatever sadness we had, whatever we've had in our life, when the outside world gives us something beautiful, we show up with all our baggage. And when the outside world does something we don't like, we show up with all our baggage. And that's the lens we will experience life through. So when good things happen, we might enjoy it. But eventually, the trauma, the dissatisfaction, the pain that we haven't dealt with will shine through. And if we're going through a difficult time, it will shine through. As Jennifer Lewis says, you've got to be happy on your way to happy. Don't think you're going to get there and be happy. You carry yourself wherever you go. So every morning I wake up and I say, I am responsible for my happiness. I am responsible for my actions. I am responsible for my life in this moment. It doesn't mean that I love everything that always happens. It doesn't mean that I don't feel certain things about my ex. But every day I reset and I do my best to look for the beauty and the good in every day. I look to be less reactive. I look for gratitude. I look for maybe. I look for all the things that are so glorious and beautiful about being alive. And that's the goal every day. How do we get back to our center? How do we get back to our gratitude? How do we get back to the peace and the little joys and the things that we love about life? And I get it. There are things that happen in our lives that are very challenging and people hurt us and things happen that are very painful. But the truth is nobody ever really comes to clean up that mess. 
It is our job to get up every day and do our best. The more we cultivate that peace and that joy and that happiness, we will look at our life through that lens. Then we start to look in the outer world and know that we deserve that back. As we go within and we cultivate more of that, the outside world will start reflecting it. So what can we do? How can we every day keep trying to reset, keep trying to cultivate the joy from within? How do we keep letting go of the things that bother us? How do we love ourselves? How do we value ourselves? This is the journey. And the first thing you can do when you wake up in the morning is say that mantra, I am okay when I decide to be okay. And you take a deep breath and you put your feet on the ground and you know that you have a right to be here. You have a right to experience joy and you have a choice how you're going to show up for your life and everything you believe in and everything you dream of is possible. Number two, gratitude. Do not forget your gratitude practice. It seems easy and it seems simple, but it reminds you of everything that you have. When you choose to be happy, when you choose to have joy, it is so important to look at all the beauty around you. If Even if you don't like the things that are happening in your life, don't miss the moments, don't miss the trees, don't miss the sky, don't miss the friend that you love and the friend that loves you. Appreciate it deeply because that is the beginning of going closer to your center and your heart. Tap into your dreams before you go out for the day. Even if they seem so far off, I want to own my own business. I want to go back to school. I want to meet somebody. Hold that in your heart because what you desire desires you. It is out there in the world because you have a yearning towards it. That means there's something in the world that also is looking for you. When things happen during the day that make you feel shaky, that make you feel unhappy, take a deep breath. Allow your feelings. If you feel scared that it can't change, remember the maybe practice. The future is unknown. So things can work out differently than you can imagine. Maybe everything's okay. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe you could accept it and find a way to move forward. And remember that life changes sometimes slowly, sometimes over time. The most important thing is to show up every day. That's half the battle is showing up every day and saying, I'm willing to see it differently. Try to have some practice in your life that you could release, whether it's walking or running or meditating, whatever you can do to keep feeling that center. And the most important thing of them all is to know that you have a right to be here, that you are just as lovable and as valuable as anyone else. When we don't think that, everything that happens in the outside world knocks us down because we believe somebody else knows better, someone has more of a right, But that's not true. You have a divine right to be here. You have a divine right for joy. You have a divine right to dream. And you have a divine right to make those dreams come true. You just need to stay on the playing field and believe that anything is possible. And who you cultivate within yourself is who shows up every day. Because no matter what happens in the outside world, when we show up feeling valuable, feeling lovable, Knowing that uncertainty is our best friend, being grateful for what we have, we show up with that strength and resilience and that fortitude that matters, that helps us get through any situation, that allows us to feel joy at different times in our life and different times during the day and helps us on our journey to actually achieve the things that we want. Like Jennifer Lewis said, every day you meet yourself. So you might as well love yourself. You matter and you have what it takes to create the beautiful life that you dream of. Thank you for listening to this podcast today. 
If you'd like to get in touch with me, you could email me at allison at allisoncarman.com. If you'd like to buy my books, The Gift of Maybe or Year Without Men, they're available at all major bookstores and online retailers. And if you like this podcast, you could subscribe and leave a comment.